MJ and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this multi-tiered Christmas tree. I've used Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick for this project. It is a super bulky weight number six and it is a blend of acrylic and wool and it's a really beautiful luxurious looking yarn. I love it for all kinds of my projects. So the color that I used here with this little bit of gold fleck is Starlight. And I'm going to be using this color today to show you, and it is Succulent. So now I wanted to show you a fun idea that you could add a little base to your tree. It's not necessary. The tree will stand up on its own. But if you just wanted to add that little bit extra, this is a toilet paper roll. Now it may be a little bit short, so you might want to either tape a couple together or use a paper towel roll instead, and then you can just trim it to size. So you wanna stick it up really as far, and then you can just cut it off for however much of a base of a tree that you want. And so then what you're gonna do is you can wrap some glue some twine either around it or another fun idea that I wanted to show you as well could be to glue some cinnamon sticks so you could take the base and just glue these cinnamon sticks around the base of the tree and that would really make a nice little base and give off that really lovely cinnamon smell and the hook i will be using is a nine millimeter furls crochet hook this is a streamlined swirl hook and i'm using the taurus for this project i'll have the links in the description box on where you can purchase the hook the yarn and even these beautiful beads that you may want to add into your christmas decor so what we're going to need to do is make three sizes for our multi-layered tree. So they all begin the same way. The only difference is, is that we will be doing an extra increase. So the first one, we're going to increase it up to 24 stitches. Our next one, we're going to increase it to 27 stitches. And then our third base is going to go up to 30 stitches. So this size I'm showing you, you can always go ahead and make it bigger. So for instance, if you wanted to go up one size bigger, you could start with 27, go to 30 and then 33, or even go bigger than that. Or likewise, you could make yours smaller by going down your with your increases. So I'm gonna show you this size with these three sizes, but if you wanna have different size trees, just go ahead and alter the pattern for whatever size you would like. And I love that you can easily just fit these all together and these actually would be really fun if you have little toddlers, if they wanna put the tree together. It's just kind of a fun little thing. Um, to have. I'm not even going to secure them in place. I'm going to leave them that you could just take them apart and you also could have three different little trees if you took them apart as well. I wanted to make a note just so that you know that some of the, the balls have different yardage. So this one here has 106 yards whereas the starlight with the little gold fleck only has 92 yards. I was able to make my tree from one ball. So you definitely will need 92 yards to make one tree. And then if you decide to go bigger, you may need to get more yarn, but you can definitely make one of these trees from one ball of either your specialty with the sparkle or just your regular ball here. So to begin, we're going to make a magic ring. So I want you to wrap the yarn around your index finger three times. And just make sure to do that loose so that you can work your hook through those loops. So you're gonna take your hook, slide it through all three loops on your finger, grab your first loop and pull it through, and we're gonna chain one. Now I want you to work six single crochet into the ring. Okay. 
Okay, now what we're gonna do is pull the ring tight. I love this way to make the magic ring because it makes a really, really tight circle that's not gonna come undone. So I just take my work, pushing it out of the way, take your tail, start to pull it. It's gonna start pulling that one loop in. You can see that loop there is pulling. So that's the loop you now wanna grab and pull, and it's gonna pull the other loop in tight. Then you just take your tail and pull. Now we're gonna start working in a continuous round. So I'm gonna grab a stitch marker to help me keep track. So one of these little stitch markers, it's great to always have some different types of stitch markers. I usually have these ones here that you can close and then this one, you don't need to close it. So this kind of project, it's good just to slip it in and out. We're gonna be doing a linked single crochet for this pattern. So it's sort of like our herringbone single crochet that I've been showing you in a few tutorials. And how to make the stitch is you're looking at your, your finished stitch here. See how we have these like two bars going across? You're gonna put your hook through this bar. Then you're gonna go under your stitch as normal pulling up a loop. You now have three loops on your hook. I like to pull them all sort of to the same height, yarn over and pull through all three. So that is my first stitch now of this round and I'm gonna mark it with a stitch marker and I'm also going to increase. I'm gonna do two increase rounds and then a non-increase round and that's how this pattern is gonna work. So in my second stitch, I'm gonna go through that bar again. So here, you, now you can see three. One, two, three. I'm gonna go through that bar. I'm gonna go through my next stitch, pulling up a loop. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all three. I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna go back down into that same stitch. So when you push your hook through that final bar, it's the stitch that that bar is going into. We're gonna go back down into it pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through three. So we've done an increase now and we'll go through that final bar into the next stitch, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. Go into the next stitch and we're adding two into that stitch. Then we'll do one in the next and then we'll do two in the next stitch. So one and two. So now we've increased from six stitches to nine stitches and we know now that this is the first stitch. So we'll take that out. And this is gonna be another increase round. This time we're gonna work two stitches before we do our double. Okay, so that's always how our increase works. We're always doing one more single stitch before we do an increase as we increase this pattern. So the first stitch will just be one linked single crochet, and then we will stick our marker in there. One in the next and then we'll do two in the next. So one and two. Okay, so now you should have four stitches. Now we, we will do one in the next two. So one, two, and then we'll do two into the next. one into the next, one into the next. And we should always be doing that increase in that final stitch. So that helps you to make sure that you've done it correctly. And also every increase round will go up three stitches. So we're always increasing by three stitches. So now we've increased from nine to 12. Okay, and this is sort of how it's looking. 
And now we'll remove the marker and this round will be a non-increased round. So we're just gonna work in one stitch around. So we're, we're doing the length. And mark that. Okay, so we're just working now in every stitch around. So we're gonna have a total of 12 stitches. And I just wanna recap again that all three pieces are gonna start this way. So they're all starting working the same way, the same increase, it's just that two of them are gonna be bigger than, they're all gonna be three stitches apart in size. So just working around now in every stitch. And I've just shoved my little tail in here for now, but you can weave that in and just get rid of that. And now what we're gonna do is two more increased rounds. So let's get that first stitch worked and get the marker put back in. So now this time, we're gonna work three stitches before we do the increase. So we've worked one already two, three, four, and five. So that fifth stitch is going in the fourth stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. So work one, two, three, and then we'll increase the next one. So two stitches. And then finish around. So one, two, three, and the fourth stitch we have two, and that's the last stitch, which also keeps us on track that we've worked that correctly. And we're gonna do another increase before we do our non-increase. So let's get the first stitch done and put our marker back in. One, so that's two actually, one, two, three, four stitches and then the next will be the increase. So five, six. And just repeat that around. Okay, so I just pulled my stitch marker out and now we're gonna do another non-increase round. So we'll get my first stitch worked. And this time we're working around, we have 18 stitches. So just work all the way around, working one into every stitch. And then we're gonna work two more increase rounds. Okay, so once you've worked all the way around your 18 stitches, we're just gonna move the marker and we're gonna do another increased round. So we need to do two more increased rounds. So let's get the first stitch done. And this time we'll be increasing on the sixth stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and so the sixth stitch we're gonna add two. And then just repeat that all the way around and we're increasing to 21 stitches.
Okay, so I've worked that all the way around. I'm at 21 stitches, and now we will work another increase round. And this time we'll be increasing on the seventh stitch. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, and in the seventh, we'll add two. And you can just repeat that all the way around. Okay, so now we've increased to 24 stitches, and this is the most increasing we're going to do for our top part of our tree. So the last round for that piece is just working now one in every stitch around. So there's the first stitch and you'll work a total of 24 stitches all the way around and then I'll meet you up. Okay, so I've worked around my 24 stitches. Now what I'm gonna do is keep increasing to show you how to make all the sizes. So at this point, you would fasten off and I'm gonna show you how to do the seamless join at the end, but you can just cut this right now and just pull it through okay and I'll show you how to join it after so we're going to this is the first piece so at 24 stitches that piece is complete so next I'm going to show you how to make our next piece we're going to increase this one up to 27 stitches so I'm going to go ahead and do that Okay, so this time we're now increasing in the eighth stitch. So there's one. Two. Three. Four. And in the eighth stitch, we'll do two. Okay, so you're just gonna repeat that around. Okay, so I've increased this one now to 27 stitches. So for our middle piece, now what I want you to do is just work one in each stitch around so that you have, you're finishing with that 27. So we've got our increase of 27, and then we want to do a final round just working one stitch in every around, okay? So I'm not going to show you that because I want to show you the last, how to finish making this one. So this would be this one now complete with that final round. But for the largest one, I'm going to continue with that increase pattern of doing two increases and then a final one. So our last size, what we'll do now is jump. We won't have that round with just 27 stitches. We're gonna pop right into just increasing this up to 30. So let's get our first stitch. And so this time we'll be increasing on the ninth stitch. And you can go over to the pattern on the blog and follow along if you need to. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and on the ninth, we'll do two. So one, two. Okay, so I'm just gonna repeat that all the way around now. 
Okay, so I've increased that up to 30 stitches. Now we're gonna do our final round, just working one in every stitch around. So I'll get my one stitch added and I'm just gonna work around the 30 stitches and then I'll meet you back up. Okay, so I worked around my 30 stitches. Now this is how we're gonna finish off each of our pieces. So we're gonna fasten this off now. So you just wanna cut your yarn and pull that through. Okay, so you're gonna wanna take you're gonna to wanna to take your yarn needle for a bulky yarn. It needs to have a nice big head on it. What we're gonna do is just make that seamless join. So to do that, this is our first stitch. We're gonna go through both loops of that stitch. Pull that through. And you're going to come back through your final stitch and go through the back loop only. And then what that's going to do is make a little faux stitch. So it's going to blend right in. Now, as you can see, this does pop up the height a little bit more. You can kind of just try to sort of finger block it, like just try to get it as even as you can. And then we're just going to weave this tail down through just hide it and then you can trim that off okay so that's our biggest which makes a cute little tree in itself which you could have your three heights of trees if you didn't want to put them together and that would also look great. So I'm going to make my other pieces off camera. So like I say, we do, you go up to 24, do a non-increase. You go up to 27, do a non-increase. Go up to 30, do a non-increase. So that's, the, that's just how you're making the three pieces. So it's really simple. So what I wanted to show you next is this fun optional um, cinnamon stick base you can make. So... This one I've already done. It's really cute. I used the smaller cinnamon sticks. So this is just a package I picked up at the grocery store. They have the smaller sticks and I used a toilet paper roll and I just glue gunned all of these around. Now for this one, I bought these bigger cinnamon sticks from Costco. These ones are a little bit bigger. They actually will go the entire, even maybe a little bit taller. So this time I'm going to go ahead and glue gun all of these cinnamon sticks around and they smell so good. So it's just a fun alternative. Now you could also use a twine and you could glue gun this also around your base. So that's just some different options, but I just love this look actually of the cinnamon sticks and the amazing smell they give off. So this is really simple. Okay, we're just going to kind of just want to see where your cinnamon stick will lay flat for where you're putting your glue. And then you just want to glue down, go down. And don't make the mistake that I just did. If it comes up a little bit farther, you probably wouldn't want to add that glue to that very top. So this is all you're going to do is you're just going to keep and just glue that all the way around. Okay. 
Okay, so I completed my tree base. It looks great. And here is my three finished pieces. And you can just stick your base into the tree and it will stand up. You know, it's hard to see here with video but it stands up really great you can check out all the pictures that i'll have pop up at the end so you can see how it looks here's my finished trees i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and tap that bell so that you stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials thanks so much everyone have an awesome day